Does this mean that the Affordable Care Act is has a clear run now. Are there other serious challenges? Because this is the second big challenge right. we've seen in the courts that it has survived. Um, it, it does have challenges, but I think it's it's not a um, – you're not going out on a limb to say this is now a law that has entered the fabric of our country, as the president said. And it, it's, um, you know, I think going to be uh, around in some form for a long time. Now, you know, we've all covered – big legislation in the past, and whether you go back to the 1986 tax reform law or the many um, deficit, big deficit reduction packages, it was always a standard procedure that you would have what was called a technical corrections bill, and we would make cha- the members of Congress, both parties, would make changes. In our polarized Congress, that's not been able to happen with this bill, and so there are things that even Democrats would like to have done, but to have legislation would open the door to these repeal efforts and such, I think maybe it'll probably have to wait till 2017, but you'll start to see, you know, legislation that will correct some of the things that people don't like about this bill, some of the things that are just glitches, like the language that was at the heart of this case uh, yesterday, and uh, that it will be done on a somewhat bipartisan basis. Well, here's a big question. Does the next president, if it's a Republican, really want to go through with a full repeal. We went at our team at NPR, went and counted up all of the statements from Republican candidates yesterday. Every single one of them used the word repeal in their statements. Do they really want to do that is the question, because then their entire presidency, like this president, is going to be defined by health care and all of the complications that come with that, increased premiums, everything else that winds up happening. You have an opposition party that won't help them a single inch on this. Sounds like President Obama, right? Are they really going to want to do that completely, or are they going to keep in place a solid foundation of what President Obama's put in place, maybe make a few tweaks like getting rid of the mandate, which then in turn, Democrats would argue, would increase costs and premiums, and then that Republican president would own that. So it's going to be a very complicated thing. On the campaign trail, it's very clear-cut, but in governance, whether or not they'll actually do that. 